please welcome to Risen Director Benjamin Osborne. Last but not least, Mandy, who plays Ola. Yeah. Oh, hello, hello. Welcome, Ben. I was gonna say Elsa. That's not wrong though. You can, Gemma. You can call me that if you like. Really? Yes. Okay, and of course, Matt, who plays Ola. All right, just we have a media here from the region. Would you like to know where everyone's from? Oh. Where are the Malaysians? Malaysia, are you here? Yeah. Yes! Where's Singapore? Yeah. Where is Chok Chu Kang? Just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how about, uh, I was gonna say Kato mix. Uh, who's from the Philippines? Yeah! Kamustaka, how are you? Thailand! Yeah! Yes, and Brunei. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, show some love to Brunei, you guys, okay? All right, so we're going to be asking you some questions. We're going to um, hear Elsa, Gemma, and Matt sing as well in just a little while. But first, uh, Ben, hello. Welcome to Singapore. Hello. Ooh. Yeah, so you're bringing a very big scale musical here to Singapore. How are you preparing for the opening in February? Yeah, so we literally just closed in Perth on Sunday night. And so our crew is... Thank you, Stephen. Yes, thank you. Our crew is um, packing the show up, dismantling everything, and we then have a little break, and the uh, show goes on a ship, comes out here, and then I come back here in mid-January to start rehearsing some local children. Wow, how yeah. many are we looking at? So we've got six local children in the show, okay. uh, and they're going to be playing the roles of young Anna and young Elsa. Oh. So it'd be really, really beautiful. I was over here a few weeks ago, and I auditioned them, and they're wonderful, and I can't start to work with them. I really, really can't. And so then we will go back into rehearsals, and then we open in February. So it's a mammoth task. How many containers was that? We were talking about shipping over 100 yeah. containers. It's, I think it's, it's 26 containers, right. shipping containers. It is huge. When you guys see this production, it is everything that you will want to see. It's bigger than Broadway and London. It is massive, so you get everything, and it's just it's wonderful. And it's the only stop in Southeast Asia, you guys. Yeah. you got to come watch it, okay? All right, thank you so much, Ben. Thank now, you. Gemma, you're no stranger to Singapore. You've been here before. You played Alpha Bob. Yes. You agree. And now you're blue. <laughs> I'm sorry, when you're talking to like musical actors and actresses, you just can't help it. You have to sing like this sing. all the time. Okay, I'll stop and, uh, yes, <laughs> not slay your ears. Uh, you're accustomed to stage uh, musicals, heavy on visual spectacles, such as Wicked and Disney's Frozen. So how did you get the role of Elsa? And had any of your past experiences actually helped you in this process? Oh, definitely. I think every job that you do, you, you harness a little bit more skill. And so I think that, yeah, I was ready to, to play Elsa when I was auditioning for her. Um, I, it was a, a six-month process. It was very, very long. There was multiple, multiple auditions. Um, so it was very high pressure and it was very nerve-wracking, um, especially when I knew that the last audition was happening and I was like, oh my gosh, like I can't stuff this up. If I stuff this up, I don't get the role. What was the one thing they were looking out for, do you know? Ooh, you probably know better than me because I, yeah, you get all like your thing or something like <laughs> For sure. I mean, you know, Elsa's such a complex character, but Gemma brought such beautiful vulnerability in your auditions, and that's what won you the role. Thank you. Absolutely Aww. gorgeous. Thank you, for being, thank you for being vulnerable with us today. No worries. All right. <laughs> now, Matt, you've had 25 years of experience starring in stage and screen productions all over the world, yeah. but. It's your first time in Singapore. It's my first yeah. time here. I'm well, so yeah. 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 Alright, welcome, yes. Oh, wow. Literally a warm welcome. I'm glad he's not melting just yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Um, how did you land the role of Olaf actually? And how different is it from your other roles? Uh, it was interesting because I went in when I originally auditioned for Frozen, I actually went in for Prince Hans. Oh. Um, and so I, I went into the room and I was reading all the material and the director said to me, uh, now we have to do the scene where I don't want to spoil it, but where Hans turns a little bit evil. Um, and um, 
And I did it, and he said, oh, I don't believe you. And I went, oh. And he's like, how do you feel about Olaf? And I was like, sure. And so then we went down the Olaf path, and we started to audition, and then here I am. I got the role of Olaf. So. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We're looking forward to seeing you as Olaf. Now, Ben, we understand that Singapore is the only stop in Southeast Asia. How does Disney's Frozen Tea feel about this? We are so excited. We were here, I think, four years ago with Aladdin, and we had such huge success. Yeah, it was a beautiful production. You saw it. Amazing. Magical. So magical. Well, you're going to get that here as well. <laughs> but yeah, we're so excited. It's such a gorgeous city, gorgeous country. So we're trying to just recreate what we did on Aladdin. Nice. Yeah, really excited. Nice. All right. Now, Matt, could you share with us your first thoughts when you first learned that you were going to be playing Olaf? Since uh, it's not exactly a human role. No, it's not a human role. Uh, when I when I got offered the role, firstly I was so super excited, and then I was extremely nervous all at the same time because there's a lot of pressure that comes with playing these iconic characters that the world has fallen in love with, with the film, but. The great thing about me is I got to learn a new skill set because Ooh. the role of Olaf is uh, I uh, bring him to life through a puppet. Yeah. Um, yeah. Much like the Lion King that has been here previous. So um, I, that was something new I got to learn and it's also a skill because not only do I have to tell the story through the puppet, uh, you see my face and you see me as the actor behind the puppet too, so I have to tell the story myself um, as well as through the puppet. So it's, it's, a, it's quite a uh, challenge but um, something that I've had the most fun doing. That's a very unique role. And very a very unique, unique skill set to acquire as well. I know. And how do you feel about like yourself and then your own laugh and Well that's the thing, like I, I think that I go out there and I just tell the story myself as if as if I don't have the puppet, but then I'm also making sure that I'm telling the story and the audience's eyes should be focused on the puppet if I'm doing my job right. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, so but there's been so many people that have come to see the show and said, Oh, you know, the puppet, I just watched the puppet, and then some other people say, oh, I just watched you, and so I think it's going to be different for everyone. But, it's hard um, when you have a beautiful face. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so everybody remember to look at the right place. That's the right, the puppet. <laughs> but it's hard because you've got distracting eyes and features. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Now, Gemma, Elsa is an iconic role that is loved by so many and has been played by many different actresses. So how do you make this character your own? Uh, look, in the rehearsal period, you know, we had a really good uh, director who was really sort of wanting to, to find my unique Elsa. So there wasn't any desire for me to fit into a certain mould. Um, I think that every Elsa is different and unique with whatever they've been blessed with vocally or just who they are as a person with how it comes out. Um, so you've got a deep basis of um, direction of who Elsa is and and how she's feeling in certain scenes, but how that flourishes and comes out is something unique because we are all unique. So, and that was really embraced, which I really, really like because you can really be very truthful when you're not trying to replicate and the audiences connect with truth rather than, otherwise there's sort of a veil um, and a disconnect if you're trying to be something. It's great that you're given the freedom to do that. Yeah. And be that. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure the audiences are going to love it and cherish it. In fact, I think we're in for a treat right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she loves to see Elsa in action. Yeah. 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 